course, at 2020, the new champion versus Guilds of Ravnica. And guys, we are hoping, we are hoping the Guilds of Ravnica doesn't win because this is my last booster pack of Guilds of Ravnica. If they win, I have to go out and get more. And that's just, it's, it's too much for me. It's too much for me. So we are, we're just... I'm just, I'm just giving it to you. I'm, I'm just giving it to you. I'm giving the truth to you right off the bat. We want Corset 2021 to win. Give it some good vibes in the comments. Uh, let me know your favorite Core 2020 card. That would be great if you could let me know that. Or just any, just type in a Core 2020 card. That would be, that would be cool. Guilds of Ravnica. Uh, who's excited? Who's excited for this one? I'm excited. Let's start off the excitement with some commons from Core 2020. The new champion, reduced to Ash. Reduced to Ash deals five damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Moment of Heroism gains lifelink until end of turn with a plus two, two, not bad. Negate, counter target non-creature spell. We hate blue. We hate blue for those kinds of reasons. Um, feral invocation, flash, enchant creature, enchant creature gets a plus two, two. Hey, that's not bad. Audacious thief, whenever audacious thief attacks, you draw a card and you lose one life. Losing life. Frost links enters the battlefield target creature. Opponent controls that creature doesn't untap during its controls next. That's annoying. Dagger Sail Aeronaut, as long as it's your turn, it has flying. Three, two, not bad. Unholy. Indenture. Look at the art on that. That's not bad. Uh, chain creature dies, return a card to the battlefield under your control with a plus one one counter of it. And we have Marauder's Axe, a two drop artifact equipment. Gets plus two plus zero and it costs two to equip. It's not bad. Sleep paralysis, enchant creature. Sleep paralysis enters the battlefield, tap enchant creature. Creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Ew. There you go. Very good. Thank you, Core 2020, for starting us off with some good vibes. Guilds of Ravnica, what you got? What you got, mate? I will allow you to give me some good cards in here because we don't count it in the final tally. Radical ID, draw a card, jump start. Goblin, locksmith. Uh, creatures with defender can't block this turn. Locks it on, restore up. Come on, man. Where are we? There. Stay focused. Convoke. Pax favor. Convoke. Veiled shade, plus one. Not convoke. <laughs> Venati shield mate, two drop for a two two with vigilance. Uh, hypothesis -al. hypothesis -al. I've got a hypothesis -al. that people with a lith would uh, not enjoy reading this card. Prey upon, how can you control fights target creature you don't control? Come on, man, focus, focus, you damn, you damn thing. Hammer drop, mentor. For five two four drop for five two interesting and finishing off with another artifact sacrifice dim lock it draw two cards boom there we go but we all know that you guys didn't come around just to just to you know just to just to look at all of these shiny cards no you didn't you are here because you want to know the value of each booster pack because that is how we do it on this channel. I forgot which pile was which, but we're going 20, 20, 2020. Gives a graphic. Here we go. Should we do it a different way? Should we do it a different way? No. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. <laughs> okay. 2020, starting us off with a Ogre Siege Breaker Destroy Target Creature that was dealt damage this turn for four. Boom. Okay, not a bad start. Uh, let's see. Uh-oh. They've got a... What do you call these cards? 
a two for one. There are two for one. So you can pay one, search your library for a basic forest planes card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library or creatures you control get plus two plus two until end of turn. Uh, Wowza. That's a cool, that's a cool looking card. Damn. Okay, I'm going to give this one to Ravnica, but that should be it, right? No more good cards, Ravnica. Don't do this to me. Okay, Ogre Siegebreaker coming in at a whopping six cents. Hooly dooly. And Flower Flourish coming in ten cents. I was right. You won. I'm proud of you. Now stop it. Chord 2020. Give me something good. Brian Bourne Cutthroat. It's a blue card. It's a blue card, so I'm not... I'm not confident with, with this boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Uh, is that enough against Gerd for battle? Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to two target creatures for one drop. Ugh, if I could put it in frame. It's a good question. Um, yeah, I mean, Brownborn Cutthroat can do stuff. It really hurts to barrack for blue, though. No, no, we're going Gills and Ravnica again, but no more, okay? No more. After this one, no more. No more. Okay, Brian Bourne Cutthroat coming in 12 cents. It's not the worst. That's, that's not the worst. Gerd for battle coming in 32 cents. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Okay, Gills of Ravnica coming out with a good lead. That's fine. Come on, Core 2020. You gotta give me something, man. You gotta give me something. I need to buy more. Destroy a target creature or planeswalker that's green or white. You gain one life. Jeez, that's not bad for a two drop. That is not bad for a two drop. Gain one life. Now we're talking. Yeah. Now we're talking 2020. What you got? You got nothing. Silent Dart. One drop. Sacrifice Silent Dart. It deals three damage to target creature for one. God. See, the camera doesn't even want to focus on you. That is... That's a good card. Oh, no. But you need to pay four to sacrifice. Oh, pff, get out of town. Get out of town. Not just grasp. All the way. Destroy target creature. Your plans with this green. Yeah. Pff. Noxious grasp that's that's who we're going for 2020 has got it in the bag i'm telling you silent dart noxious grasp silent dart seven cents get out of here because noxious grasp is 13 cents uh all right i'm thinking it's coming down to these last two it's 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 been pretty pretty flat until now but here it is thunderkin awakener two drop has haste whenever it attacks choose target elemental creature card in your graveyard with toughness less than awakener return that card to the battle tap i don't know about that one i don't know about that one don't do this to me man don't do this to me <laughs> <laughs> Assassin's Trophy. Hmm. Destroy target permanent and opponent controls its controller may search their library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle their library. That's that's a path to exile with more cost. Um I really don't want to go, <laughs> I really don't want to go Guilds of Ravnica, but I don't think Thunderkin Awakener has it in it. Let's, let's, let's just hope. I'm going Thunderkin, let's hope. Otherwise, I'm going to have to order more. Okay, results are in. Thunderkin Awakener. 49 cents. That has been. 49 cents. Okay. Assassin's Trophy, please be like two cents. Oh, it's, it's $11. <laughs> it's, 
It's eleven dollars and eighty nine cents. Uh, ooh. Remember what I said at the, <laughs> at the start of the video? Dang. Okay. Mm. Guilds of Ravnica. Guilds of Ravnica. Boom. There it is. Remember it. Remember it. It will not be defeated easily. Holy dooly. Yeah. Assassin's Trophy. $11.89. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get some more Guilds of Ravnica booster packs. Good job, Guilds of Ravnica. Well done. You played me. You played me like a damn fiddle. Um, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. Well played. Okay. Uh, what a roller coaster. If you enjoyed that, uh, hit like. That would be nice. Um, and subscribe. That would be cool as well. Uh, other than that, I will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.